I don't mind the ads. Like, I understand that's how they pay for their content. I understand that. So, um, if it's something that's interesting to me, I will look it up. I used to listen to like Pandora a lot, but the commercials, when I'm like putting a baby to sleep, it always wakes them up. Because they're always like, if I'm listening to something soft, all the commercials are like, ah, so loud. So, I always avoid those. So, it's not that I don't like. Pandora or Spotify, it's a, I cannot stand, if, if it wakes my baby up, it's going off. Radio ads, I wouldn't say, are not very relevant because I feel like they, they are geared to a more broader audience, right? But with the podcast people, like, you're just like, you kind of feel like you know them after like listening to them, like, you know, have conversations and things like that. So maybe that's just why their ads are more bearable and they actually make it kind of funny. Um, and they add their li like little twists to it and it's more entertaining to listen. It's not like they're reading script, like this, a script word for word. If they are, they will like make a joke about the fact that they are. And you know, that makes it entertaining. I feel like the ads on the podcast are catered more towards me as a listener because I'm only listening to podcasts that will pique my interest anyway. Typically, um, like they'll be like, this podcast is sponsored by Dove Soap, you know? <laughs> and then they'll be like, you know, Dove Soap, da da da, doesn't dry your skin out. And you know, like that's cool with me because you want to work with brands that you align with. So I feel like if I'm listening to somebody that I like, most likely they're working with a brand that they align with. They're not just working with random brands. So their advertising typically does kind of engage me because I like Dove Soap. Oh, Dove has a new product out? Awesome, you know? Dove just dropped a new soap that has lavender in it. I love lavender. I went and got it.